Hello and welcome, my name is Eric and today I want to take you through how to get your information off of your old computer and getting it onto your new one. There are several ways to do this. Probably the easiest is just if you have an external hard drive, you just take your information off your old computer, transfer it onto the external hard drive, get your new one, transfer it onto there. However, if you don't have an external hard drive, this can obviously be a little bit difficult, but you definitely, definitely should have an external hard drive just in general to make a backup all the time. I made a video on this. I'll link it down below. At least I'm pretty sure I made a video on this. But you should have one. But to get your data off, to get you up and running, you don't need that. Another way that you can go is if you have something like Google Drive. Uh, I don't think Dropbox. Wait, no, Dropbox is still a thing. Copy is not a thing. Dropbox or even iCloud Drive. You can transfer things onto that and get it onto your new computer. But if you have a lot of information, like a lot of people tend to have a lot of photos or a lot of music, you're either one going to need to purchase a lot of storage space from those online services, and then you're going to have to be at the mercy of your internet speed to upload that and then download it onto your new one. So that can be a little difficult. Another thing and probably the fastest way to get information off of your old computer to your new one is using Apple's Migration Assistant. By the way, this is going to be for Mac. I don't know if I mentioned that before this is apple only it'll say that in the description anyways so migration assistant is a utility that is installed onto every apple computer and there are a couple different ways to get the information off of it if you're going from mac to mac then you just open up migration assistant on both and you can either transfer it through a ethernet port which you is going to be the best way to do it. Uh, if most new Apple computers only have Thunderbolt 3 ports, they don't have a uh, an Ethernet port, which looks like a big headphone jack. If you have an iMac, they still do. If you have a MacBook Pro, they don't. So you'd have to buy an adapter. Apple, I don't think, sells one that's directly a USB-C to Ethernet adapter. Uh, I did recently buy one from Uni, I think. UNI. I don't know if it's an acronym. I don't think it is. I just bought it off Amazon. It was pretty cheap, but I'll link that down below as well. And you can use that uh, to transfer your information over. The other thing you can do is if your old computer has uh, Thunderbolt 2 or Thunderbolt anything, Thunderbolt 1, Thunderbolt 2, uh, then you can use that to transfer to your new one. But again, you do need a Thunderbolt 2 to Thunderbolt 3 adapter, which Apple does sell. I don't know how much it is, but either way, you're, you're going to have to buy something. Uh, but again, an external hard drive is probably going to be the most useful to you long term but if you don't want to do that and you just want to buy an adapter then just get an adapter but if you're going from mac to mac you honestly just and you're going through ethernet you open up migration assistant on both follow the setup process there it'll tell you what to do if you are going through thunderbolt then what you want to do is shut down your old computer you're going to hit the power button and then you're going to hold down the t key t is in target and uh as soon as you hear the little chime you're gonna hold down t key you're gonna hold that down until you see a little icon that looks like a lightning uh symbol on your screen and what you're doing there is you're booting your old computer up in what's called target disk mode basically it turns your old computer into an external hard drive and you can just transfer your data from there in fact i just realized you can if you're going from mac to mac and you have a thunderbolt adapter you don't need an external hard drive. You could just boot it up in target disk mode, exactly like I said, transfer all your data over just by dragging over what you want. A little cumbersome, but you can do it. Um, once you connect it to your computer, you can open up Migration Assistant. Now, the difference between Migration Assistant and just transferring your information over, if you already created a user on your new computer, meaning you already like turned it on, you went through the setup thing, you signed in and all that stuff, the migration assistant will only pull well the main the way it gets your information is it pulls over your old user so if you have a user on your old computer like let's say i have a folder named eric on my old computer and i just created a folder called eric on my new one it's going to cause a conflict i believe that it gives you an option to change the name of the folder you're transferring but just know that it's going to be a completely separate user so if you already put some information on the new computer and then you're going to transfer this over you're going to have to consolidate the information somehow so it might just be easier to either drag things over manually from your old computer 
or transfer the entire user and then delete the one that you created on your new computer. I hope that makes sense. If it's confusing, leave a comment down below. Uh, if you're going over from a Windows computer, then you still have the same method of just transferring it to an external hard drive, but that can be a little tricky. The, com the external hard drive has to be in a FAT32 format. It's a type of format. Most external hard drives don't come in that format, but it's the only one that is Mac and Windows compatible. In order to format your drive, you first want to click anywhere on your background. That way it says Finder in the upper left hand corner. You're then going to go to Go and Utilities. It should take you directly to your Utilities folder. You are just going to go down to Disk Utility. You're going to double click on that to open it up. Then you have your external hard drive here. In this case, I have my Seagate. You're going to click on that. You're going to click on Partition at the top. And then right here under Format, you want to take this and go down to MS-DOS FAT. This is the only file system or format that is supported by both Windows and Mac. Once you do that, you hit Apply. Keep in mind, this will erase everything on the external drive. So if you're planning to use it to transfer information, make sure that you don't have anything on there that you want to keep. So keep that in mind, it will erase everything. I believe if you hit apply, it'll tell you, hey, this is gonna erase your entire drive. But just so that way you hear it from me, you do that, you hit apply, and then give it, it should only take maybe a minute or two depending on the size of the drive. Um, and yeah, that's all you gotta do to format your external hard drive to MS-DOS FAT32. The other thing you can do is you can use the same Ethernet cable method and just download Migration Assistant for Windows, and that's on Apple's website. Download that, install it, and then follow the prompts there too. But again, you're going to need that Thunderbolt or USB-C to Ethernet adapter in order for that to work. And honestly, that's pretty much your options for doing that. The other thing you may want to do is just think about starting fresh. Like obviously your music, even though most people stream now, uh, your photos, if you get those on an external hard drive, you don't necessarily need them on your uh, new computer, but up to you. Um, those are all the methods. I hope this did make sense. And if you do have any questions, definitely leave them in the comments below. Always remember to love yourself, and I cannot wait to share the next video with you.